Hey guys, it's Turno Blue from AKScroller.com. Today I'll be showing you how to unroute your phone and go back to stock. All right, this method does work for the true perma root method and also the generic root. What it does, it just brings back S on. So if you haven't donated to the site already, please do. You will have full access to our apps and the form downloads. Um, once you hit the forms, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the My Touch 4G here. Um, what's going on is I've already recorded the process I'm just now narrating this so as you see here I'm going down to the bottom and looking for the my touch 4g room as soon as we click the link we're gonna see the first topic which is my touch 4g methods tips and advice um, view that topic it's a lot of good information for you um, talks about the process and steps taking and rooting and on so so forth but here uh, we're doing unrooting, so we're going to do the quick find. We're going to hit Control F and type in UNRT. What it does, it's going to bring you further down the post so that you can view the actual unroot method and download the file. Um, as you see there, there is an uh, under or hyperlink to um, to the download. It says click here. So once that's downloaded, you're going to have the unroot zip files and once you extracted everything, you're going to have two files within the folder, the unroot folder and the PD15 image. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy them to our SD card. And uh, in this video, I've already done so. Um, just took a step ahead of it. And what it should look like is the unroot folder there in your SD card. And then down at the bottom should be the PD15 image. So just going a little bit further ahead, um, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and go back to uh, charge only. But for you users who have already loaded this into your phone, go ahead and safely eject it. Uh, once you've done that, um, you're going to open up Terminator Emulator. But uh, right now I'm using a, a program called Droid Explorer, and within that program has the option to screencast my phone. So, I thought it'd be better to use this application rather than trying to record everything on a camera and, you know, seeing glares and stuff. But if you notice on the bottom right, I do have that up too. The webcam is uh, actually recording my phone. So, you see, it's taking me a good minute just to get the term emulated. The program is actually kind of laggy, but there's, there's updates coming up with this program sooner or later down the road um, we're gonna go ahead and open up term terminal um, down in the post if you notice on the right side of the screen of the video there is the command prompts su cd forward slash sd card unroot sh unroot dot sh um, we're gonna go ahead and type those in just like as is on the post and like I'm doing on the screencast Now, when we're typing our last command prompt, as you see I'm about to do, um, once you hit that enter, that's going to run the script and it's going to unroot your phone basically. All right. As soon as this script is done loading, it's going to ask you to reboot into HBoot, which is volume down, power down. As soon as we go into our H boot, our flash image, which is the PD15 image, it's going to automatically download into H boot. Down at the very bottom of that H boot screen, it's going to ask you to update. Now, if you noticed on your H boot screen, once this process is complete on Terminator, you can notice it's S equals off. But once you hit power up to update when it asks you for it later on, it's going to go back to S on. So you'll be good. The whole entire process takes about 15 minutes. Um, after the process is done, it's going to ask you to reboot 
your phone and your phone should be back to full stock as if you got it out of the box brand new um, all the demo should work all the bloatware is all there um, so yeah that's it for the unroot method and if you're wondering why I'm using ADB it's because my phone was still connected and and I was trying to show you guys how what it, the process would look like but as long as you get a general idea of what's going on and what the process is this should be better for you to follow along with rather than just reading off the site and actually have a hands on video and also a visual of it so yeah good luck